Hey everybody, Michelle here. Today I'm going to come on and I'm doing a little book review. Yay! This is on the latest um, Laurel K. Hamilton book. It's called Swallowing Darkness and it's part of the Mary series. Now, this book left off exactly where Lick of Frost ended. Mary's in the hospital. Oh, and P.S. If you haven't read the book, don't watch this video. Sorry, because I'm going to give out some spoilers. So, deal with it. Um, it's exactly where it left off. Mary is in the hospital. She is pregnant with twins. However, the twins have four fathers. And the fathers are Frost and Doyle, uh, Mistral, and Sholto. And everybody knows that Frost is gone which very much upset me. He is now a white stag of whatever court of the old whatevers. But, um, I was, I read this book in six hours. Once I started it, I could not stop. There was several things that really upset me, and I actually cried. Yes, it's stupid, I cried over a book. But one, Mary's Gran is now dead. Shulto killed her, but that's because um, Mary's cousin, Carr, put a spell on Gran, and she tried to attack Mary in the hospital room, and Shulto did what she had he had to do to protect Mary, so he killed Gran. And then Doyle was actually hurt so badly that he had to get hooked up to human monitors and machines and that was actually killing him more, and Sholto was hurt. Actually, Sholto, Sholto died, but um, Mary called on the Great Hunt and used Gran's body to pretty much resurrect Sholto, and then Mary and Sholto rode off on the little horses. You know, they went to um, Ferry, they went to the Steely Court, where she got her vengeance, and she killed Carr, which was her cousin, and then her uncle, Tyranius, I hate using their names because how I say them in my head is probably not how they're pronounced, and I don't give a shit because that's just how I say them in my head. I don't care. But he was like, she's pregnant with my twins, and she needs to come to the Seely Court and be my Seely Queen, and, and Mary's like, first of all, you raped me. Um, that would be incest, and I am not going to be your queen because I'm an unseely princess. But anyway, then she ends up going to Sholto's kingdom where she is actually, Sholto and Mary are actually handfasted. They are married by the goddess and so she is queen of Sholto's um, world, which of course I can't think of the name right now and I just read the freaking book last night. But whatever. <coughs> um, so Sholto and Mary are married, and of course Doyle is like, you know, he can say that you have to be mine and mine only, and Mary's like, no, she goes, I got pregnant by four different men, I'm going to stay with four different men, and Sholto was like, well, I could say this, and Mary's like, you wouldn't like me if you did that, so Sholto let it go. Um, let's see, what else? Kel, at the end of the book, Mary is escorted out of Fairy by um, human guards and Kel, her cousin Kel, is the one doing the attack and he ends up killing a lot of uh, the people by making them see things and all this but the good news is, is of course, you know, Mary comes out in the end and she ends up killing, she kills Kel I know. Isn't that great? She uses her two hands and she kills him. It was so cool. But of course, her queen, her aunt lives, but what can she do? Kel's dad, that was the love of her life. Her only son, blah, 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 blah. He's a fucking freak. He deserved to die. He's dead. Thank God. And another good thing. Oh, and Ash and Holly, they now have their, um, their hands of power, because they end up having sex with Mary, and they are now become side, 
even though they are goblin. They are now side, of course. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, yes. And at the very end of the book, Frost comes back. Because at one point in time, Mary is actually given the, the crown of the unseelie court. So she is technically queen. And her aunt is no longer queen, but Mary, the, the goddess, the goddess decides to give Mary an option, and she was like, it's not worth it. She goes, I'd rather have my frost back than be queen of anything. So, she pretty much says, to have my right, wait, hold on, let me see if I, I'm actually right there at that part, it's pretty cool. But anyway, she ends up giving up her crown, and so does Doyle, because the unseelie, the goddess, give me my brush back. She, <laughs> the goddess actually chose Doyle as her king for the unseelie court, and he was like, no, if Mary decides to give up the crown, I give up my crown, because I want my right hand back. You know, Lick, um, Frost and Doyle are, I guess, partners in crime, Doyle's darkness, and Frost is the killing Frost. Um... I wish I could actually like read sections of the book, but I'm not going to, because that would be a little much. But anyway, you have to read this book. If y'all guys have read any of the Mary series, this is definitely another great book to have. I am a freak. It came out. I got it yesterday, because of course Amazon, you never get anything on the day it comes out with Amazon. You have to wait that day for shipping, which I think is bullshit, but it took me six hours to read it. I sat it. I sat down, and I read it. And my cat, see my cat here? She loves to play with my makeup brushes. I have to keep them from her. She's a bitch. But, um, yes. Oh, one more thing. Mistral did not know that he was going to be a father because the queen actually held him captive and was torturing him. And when she finally released him, she did not still tell him that he was going to be a father. And of all the men, all four of the men that are the fathers of the babies, Mistral was the only one who cried. I know, it was sad. But, read the book. It's really, really good. And, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It wasn't much of a review. But, I enjoyed this book. So, thanks!